In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll be showing you how to install a GlowShift wideband clamp to the exhaust of your vehicle. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. For the purpose of this install, we'll be using a Jeep Wrangler to install our wideband clamp. For safety, disconnect the negative battery terminal before starting any work on the vehicle. Lifting the vehicle off the ground will make removing the exhaust easier, but might not be necessary depending on your particular vehicle. Make sure the vehicle has completely cooled down prior to starting any work on the exhaust. Locate a straight portion of the exhaust and mark the location where the wideband sensor is going to be installed. The sensor must be at least 18 inches from the exhaust port or turbo exhaust housing, but before the catalytic converter and auxiliary air pumps. Remove the section of the exhaust where the wideband clamp and sensor are going to be installed. Place the clamp onto the exhaust pipe and mark the location for drilling with a punch. The hole for the sensor should be at a 10 degree upward angle. Starting with a small drill bit, drill a hole in the pipe at the marked location. Increase the size of the drill bit until a 13 16th size hole is reached. Clean up the edges of the hole using a deburring tool. Clean the area around the hole and place a wideband clamp gasket onto the exhaust pipe. Line up the hole in the wideband clamp with the hole in the pipe and use the included nuts and bolts to tighten the clamp onto the exhaust pipe. Place the wideband sensor into the pipe and tighten using a 22 mm wrench. Reinstall the exhaust pipe to the vehicle and tighten all of the exhaust bolts to make sure there are no leaks. Reconnect the negative battery terminal. You've now successfully installed your GlowShift wideband clamp into your vehicle. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE and we'll see you on the road.